Yes, you did. Want to need one. Want to need, yes. Well, welcome uh, to Greater Grace Church of Chester and Ellesme Pool. We're going to be live on Facebook for a little while, but only for a short time tonight because it's prayer. First Wednesday of the month. Yes. This is our ministry's uh, worldwide day of prayer. And uh, so we want to join with that and lift up situations around the world. So what we'll do is we will have a very short uh, thought now. We won't film the prayer so that people are not self-conscious about how they pray. And, <laughs> you know, it's good for us to be able to free, be free to pray. So. Uh, but before that, uh, yeah, let's just give this time uh, to the Lord. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for your goodness and your faithfulness. Lord, thank you for those that have gathered tonight and those that maybe are joining online, Lord. And we pray that you just really cover this evening, Lord, now. Fill us with your life. Fill us with your spirit. Anoint, anoint everything, Lord. Touch these few words and thoughts now uh, and your life to it, Lord, we pray with your Holy Spirit yes. and just our prayer time as well that there would be uh, such life and unity in praying together thank you Lord uh, for the joy of praying together as family uh, and Lord just do amazing things we pray and for those around the world from Baltimore to Bishkek from uh, Mexico City to Mumbai yes. for uh, those in Geneva Prague and Belgrade, uh, from uh, London, Northampton, uh, works up, Lord, and, uh, and in Nepal, in uh, Malawi, Costa Rica, and uh, each yes. part of the world, Lord, as we think of our friends uh, and mm. people that we, we know uh, well, Lord, just really cover each one now. Bless this time, we pray in Jesus' mm. name. And uh, yeah, let's look at uh, Psalm 139 for a minute or two. Just a couple of verses, mm. well-known verses, but it's nice to remind ourselves what the Bible says. Mm. Uh, so um, verse 17 and 18 of Psalm 139 says, How precious also are thy thoughts to me, O God! How great is the sum of them, if I should count them! They are more in number than the sand. When I awake, mm. I am still with thee. Wow. Mm. Just thinking about that, the thoughts of the Lord. Uh, thoughts and prayers. That's the thing that gets banded about whenever there is a disaster or uh, something happens or you know a public failure dies or something like that. You know, it's like the... Um, Politicians and public figures who will say, our thoughts and prayers are with them. And more recently, they just say, our thoughts are with them. Yeah. And, uh, soon enough, they won't even be bothered thinking about them, I'm sure. But uh, as yeah. people feel uncomfortable about praying, or talking about the fact that they pray, or suggesting that it's even a good thing to be praying. Well, actually, you know what? We stand by that. Because actually, you know, our prayer time is aligning our thoughts with the thoughts of the Lord. And that's what we do on a day of prayer. We come and we have, maybe we have people on our heart, situations on our heart, world situations, national situations, um, whatever it is, something going on in our life. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we maybe we have a shopping list of, oh, I need to pray about that, I need to pray about that, I need to pray about the other. But actually when we come in prayer, we're just uh, humbly before God and allowing the Spirit to speak to us. And sometimes maybe even change the things that are on our heart and change the things that we ask about. Mm. So often I've come to the prayer meeting, I thought, oh, I need to pray about that. I need to pray about that. And then when we get here, we pray about all sorts of other things <laughs> that we don't even, we weren't even thinking about. Why? Mm. Because actually, you know what? Yeah. We need to be open to God's Spirit yeah. and pray about the things that are on His heart. And so often he brings people to mind that we haven't thought about at all, maybe even sometimes in years. Yes. Mm -hmm. We were just talking about that, how uh, my wife and I were praying for one of her school friends for years ago. And then uh, for, for some reason, I don't even really know why, 
we started praying for her. And then uh, Kath was just telling Mary now that actually um, she went through a, a terrible time of, of sickness, almost died. Her family gathered to what they thought was her deathbed. But her testimony was, I know that somehow people were praying and I came through. Someone who wasn't a believer before. Yeah. And it's like, you know, it's <laughs> you know, we don't we we don't know what the effect of our prayers. Mm -hmm. I wasn't planning to speak on it, but <laughs> hey, you know, <laughs> God does it. You know, he brings right. brings these things to mind, yeah. Yes. Thoughts of the Lord. Wow, higher than our thoughts in Isaiah fifty five, mm -hmm. we know that. Mm -hmm. uh, how precious are thy thoughts? God's thoughts towards us are precious. Mm -hmm. Thoughts not of evil, thoughts of peace. Mm. Again, we know the verses. <laughs> Jeremiah <laughs> twenty nine eleven. You know, and it's like yeah. But the th I was thinking about the, the thoughts of the Lord. Uh, we can't count them. Mm. Uh, if yeah. we should count them, they are more than the sand. Yeah, have we ever done that? Count their blessings. Count God's thoughts towards us. And yeah, it's a good thing to do. It's a it's a healthy thing to do. Mm -hmm. uh, Sand often talks about um, this life. You know, you think about it. The sand of the seashore was the inheritors of um, the seed of Abraham, but the the physical seed on the earth, um, the Jews, and I suppose actually the Arabs as well, yeah. mm, that came from Ishmael. Yeah. And that sort of uh, that, uh, people group, Middle Eastern. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And then, um, like the stars of heaven, we often think, well, that's about the, the spiritual seeds of Abraham, uh, including ourselves, the seeds of faith. Mm -hmm. But, you know, think about that. Often sand is talking about the, the human viewpoint, the human wisdom and earthly substance. We don't build our house on the sand. Why? Because it gives way. We don't build our house on human opinion or human wisdom or that, but we build our house on the rock where it won't fall flat. And, uh, yeah, uh, so they're more than the sand. So actually, you know what? The, the thoughts of God are greater than the sum total of all human wisdom. All human consciousness, everything that goes on, all, all the words. Think of all the words that are, are spoken on the planet. <laughs> Every day, everything that is typed, everything that is generated by AI, computers, every email, every conversation, every telephone, and, 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 and even the, the words that go through people's heads, all of those, the sum total of it all, but the thoughts of the Lord are actually greater, <laughs> very precious. They are greater than it all, yeah. yeah. And what's his, what is the what is the uh, the uh, result of this counting of blessings? More than we can number, more than we can ever think of, more than we can list them all. Uh, it, well, it gives us peace mm. because and sleep and rest mm. because you know it says it says when I awake. In other words, hang on, what happened there? You know, like, yeah. I was counting my blessings, and it's like <laughs> next thing when I awake, and it's like <laughs> yes, something happened in between there, didn't it? And what was the result of of focusing on God's thoughts towards That's us? Right. Yeah. Thoughts of blessing, thoughts of peace, thoughts of encouragement, thoughts of forgiveness, thoughts of life. We give, we get rest, we get peace from it. And we were able to sleep more peaceably. And it gives us a encouragement and it gives us strength as well. You know. And, uh, uh, you know, we won't be tired so much longer tonight. But just, you know, these are these are a, few, a few thoughts tonight from the throne of God. Mm. How great is the sum wow. of them. Now, wow. Well, wow. You know, if I should count them. The number more in number than the sand the Lord is still with me when we awake but how great 
is the Son of Man. What are the sum of God's good is? Think about that. What is the result? When we're talking about the sum, yes, you can say the number, um, the, the quantity, the quality, the depth of God's thoughts towards us. But also, <clears throat> the sum of something is what does it add up to? Yeah. And what's it, what is the result of it? And really, you know what? That is the point mm -hmm. tonight that I, was on my heart. Wow. Was what is the, the sum of God's thoughts towards us? Mm -hmm. The sum of God's thoughts towards us. And think about that for a minute. The, the sum of his thoughts. The sum of his thoughts is salvation. Mm -hmm. Redemption. Atonement. Sanctification. Healing. Justification. Wow. A calling. A purpose. Eternal life. Life forevermore. The love of the Lord Jesus Christ. The sum of his thoughts towards us is grace. His peace is long-suffering. As some of his thoughts towards us is mercy, forgiveness, reconciliation. Mm. The sum of his thoughts towards us is, is healing and life. There's so much when we start to think about it. It's like, wow, we are incredibly blessed. Mm. And we want to give glory to God. And we start, start our prayer time tonight by giving glory mm -hmm. to God. So we'll pray and then I'll, I'll uh, click the off button so you can pray for people who you don't want to hear that have been prayed for. <laughs> <laughs> I want to pray for that scoundrel that lives in the house. No, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> but it's like, you know, we'll just, let's pray. <laughs> Heavenly, <laughs> Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for the incredible blessings. That you give us thank you lord for the life that you give us thank you lord for the investment that you put into each one of us the sum of your thoughts thank you lord for every thought that you you have towards us is always a good thought you only give good gifts good and perfect gifts that, that descend from the the father of mercy so we thank you lord tonight and we just want to give you the glory give you the praise and the honor uh, due to your name majesty on high sovereignty lord thank you lord for who you are yes, yet you give us freedom free will freedom of choice mm -hmm. to serve you to reject you to trust you to doubt you mm -hmm. to fear you wow. to love you <laughs> and actually lord you've given us everything and we want to worship you tonight and we want to praise you and we just ask that you would just inhabit our prayers. Fill us with your life. Guide us in the way that, that we should pray. Yes, the things that we should ask. Yes, Lord. And Lord, we just give you this evening. We give you this time. Mm -hmm. We pray for those that might be joining online and watching. And um, we pray for any uh, prayer requests that might be even sent in later. But Lord, we ask that you would just touch and bless this evening yes. now. Fill us with your life in the name of